Oh, the joys of spam. Anyway, I decided to reinstall Windows 7 because I got a new one terabyte hard drive from an old friend from school a few days ago. And that's not all he brought round. Just look at this huge box of stuff. Old PC games, wireless networking stuff, quite a lot of stuff. And some of that stuff which is now in the corner of my room which I will check out at a later date. This is the stuff that I found most interesting. So I'm just going to say right now, Jason, if you're watching this video, thank you. Anyway, so I was reinstalling Windows onto this new drive, which... Uh, if I could just get these things out of the way, you might be able to see is a one gigabyte, I mean, one terabyte drive, so I've got plenty of space. Everything was going fine. However, when I started to download all the little bits and pieces that I need, such as drivers and things like that, I wasn't paying attention to the installers and a whole bunch of crap got installed alongside the things that I actually installed. Three of them, which you can see right here. I didn't purposely download any of this stuff, I don't want it. Like, for instance, this thing here, I don't know what this is, this Windows version installer. But guess what? There's no cancel button. Only next. And I don't want to install this because I have absolutely no idea what it is. It just randomly appeared on my computer screen. I can get rid of it by this way. Um, uh, right click and go close window. But it'll be back soon. So the other thing it downloaded and installed, which I didn't want, is this PC Utilities Optimizer Pro. Oh yeah, sure it will scan the computer and find anything wrong. But if you want it to fix anything, you've got to pay for it. Yeah, it's only trialware software, so go away. I don't want you. Are you sea cleaner for that kind of stuff? And finally, what the hell is this? Free PC backup. Yeah, free my ass. So there's those things. It also changed my browser settings. I had YouTube and Google Mail set up as my home pages. Yet yeah, now, actually, let me just close this so I load it up right from the start. As you can see, it starts up with this web surges thing. I had this set to YouTube and Google Mail. I did not set my page to this. And also, this thing has come up. Hot deals. And I've tried getting rid of this stuff, but it just will not go. It's like a virus. Let's go to YouTube. And I'll show you another thing that's rather annoying. Not about YouTube itself, but about all this stuff that it's installed on my computer that I didn't want. Is anyone there? I don't know. Yep, see? Try and click on something on YouTube and this comes up. You'd think this is a web plugin, wouldn't you? Well, it's not! Now, I installed an ad blocker on YouTube. Well, onto Firefox, which is right there. Although it does block all the ads that YouTube would show up. This other thing that I've apparently installed... This is from that other thing that's running. So I'll just go and close it. And I'll close this other one as well. Get them out of the way. But they'll be back. Now let's see what happens when we go to my subscriptions. Ugh. Go away! I don't need you. Now I was going to show you installing Flash and all the crap that it wants you to install alongside it. But I thought to do that, I would install Cam Studio, and I'm going to do this on my laptop. And guess what? The Cam Studio installer also has a bunch of crap that it wants to install. So I'm recording this with Fraps, which I've already got installed on here. So uh, let's go and let's just try to install Cam Studio right now, which originally was what I was going to use to do the screen capture of installing Flash. Now I've got nothing against this program, 
at all. I think it's absolutely great. But check what happens when you try to install it. So we're in the installer right now. And let's just go to next to continue the installation. This is where they trick you. Because it looks like all I have to do is press exit right here to get on with the installation of Cam Studio. But wait, look! That's not the thing. Look right here. It says Deal Keeper. That is not part of the Cam Studio installation. That's another piece of spam that will install if you're not careful. So I'm just going to decline that. I don't need Safe Finder. I don't want it. Decline. Optimizer Pro. If I were to click Accept right now, Optimizer Pro would install. I don't need Optimizer Pro. I don't want it. Decline. And finally, the installation of Cam Studio actually happens. I really hope this thing that's in the middle of the screen right now has not installed. All I wanted to have installed is Cam Studio. Would you believe it? There's even more stuff to decline from. Price meter. See what would have installed had I not been careful? Any fool could go in there thinking they're installing the software that they want, whereas in fact they're installing a whole bunch of other crap that they don't want. And that's caught me out so many times. I don't like spam! Okay, so here's Cam Studio installed and recording. And now I'm going to rant about another thing that annoys me when I try to download things from the internet. So let's try to download Eritesoft Super. I know I've already got it installed here. And in fact, I have it running right here. And what this is, is a video conversion program that I use quite a bit. Now I'm going to show you how misleading that ads can be getting you to download their software instead of what you want to download. And I've temporarily turned my ad block off so I can show you this. So let's get on with the thing. So I've opened up Google Chrome and I've already put super in the search thing. And you can see there's a link to it right here, so let's go to this link. And here we are on Super's webpage. And, oh look, there's a nice big green download button. Well, I guess I'll just click this and I'll download the software I came for. Okay, download now. Well, I'll just go to the downloads window and check how well it's doing. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like e Soft Super. This isn't what I came here for. This looks like something completely different, and in fact it is. Well, let's try to install that anyway. And as you can see right away, it's not even from the same software company. And do you know why? Because that big green download button we saw earlier is an ad. It's an advertisement for something else. But they put it on the site to mislead you into downloading their software instead of what you actually came there to download. In this case, to download Super, which is what I came here to download, or rather what I came here to show you, we've got to go all the way to the bottom of the page. Again, don't click this download button. It's just another misleading ad that's going to download something that you probably have to pay for if you want to use it. The link to the actual download page is right here. Again, there are tons of ads trying to mislead you into downloading their software. It, this is not the link we need. This is an ad for another piece of software. So don't get that. We still need to go down. The link we need is right here. And now, as you can see, we are finally downloading Super, which is what we wanted in the first place. Anyway, that's it for the ranty part of this video. In the next part of this video, which I've actually already shot, I just need to get it all edited together. I'll edit this one first and upload it to YouTube. But anyway, getting off track, in the next part of this video, we're going to be reinstalling Windows 7, and I'll see you there. And there's that noisy cat outside, I don't know if you can hear it.